Hello everyone, this is Aaron Pitch from ATF Gaming and welcome back to NASCAR Dirt 2 Daytona. Today, who knows what we have going on. What do we have going on? We have a Cup Series race at Kansas. And we have a Cup Series race at Talladega. And most likely a Cup Series race at Lowe's. Okay, Charlotte. So three Cup Series races to do on this episode. So let's go ahead and get going to the first one, which was at Kansas. Let's go. All right, let's see where we're going to qualify here. I'm going out pretty early. 34 second range is probably what we're shooting for here. Got to get used to these controls again as well. That is not the right button. Okay, I'm looking for the mirror. How does, oh my God. How does one turn on the mirror? No. Okay, this entire qualifying lap is gonna be me trying to find the mirror. There we go. I need to let off there. This must be before the Kansas reconfiguration because that seemed a lot flatter than usual. Alright, let's see where we qualify here. Hopefully we can do okay. Who really knows, honestly. Uh, do we only come here once a year? I, can't, I don't remember coming here earlier in the year. I, I can't remember, though. I might be wrong in that regard, but I feel like this might be a once a year track. Oh, I had to hit the brakes a little bit. So I don't think this is going to be as good of a run as I was hoping. We'll cut on to the apron here. Right, yeah, not not as good as I was hoping. We, oh, my AI car did not. Oh, oh my God! Now where are you going? Oh my God! The AI did not react well to me being on the apron. It never does, but still, going headfirst into Sterling Marlin's parked car did not help the situation. Oh my good golly gosh. Anyway, let's see. I mean, we're still in fourth, which is quite amazing considering we're four tenths off the pole. Just there's a wide variety of times here. Of course, we're going to start right by Sterling Marlin, who we just annihilated on pit road there. Oh my goodness, that was great. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was something else right there. Um, I'm going to loosen up the car a bit. Um, just a bit, though. No, I don't want to export. I forget what button's which in this game. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's head off to the race. It's a perfect day for racing at Kansas Speedway in Kansas City, Kansas. This brand new state-of-the-art facility has brought NASCAR to the heartland. Although the tri-oval track design is not unique to Kansas, the slight difference in the banking makes this track truly different. All right, there we are. And there's Sterling, who clearly got his car repaired, hopefully for free. The race is going green. There's the green flag. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're going to get... Speaking of absolutely ridiculous, we're just going to split the front row for some stupid reason. Okay, let, let's not do that. I'm sorry, Ricky Rudd, you, you got the wrong end of the stick there. Alright, there's Sterling. Let's try to be kind to Sterling. We've already caused this team to have to repair the car once. You know, I thought the apron might be a little bit more you know, normal. For some reason, I thought it'd be kind of like Auto Club, where you can run on the apron just a bit, but no. I definitely don't think we raced here early in the season. But then again, uh, I haven't done anything in this game in so long before last week, so. That was a good corner right there. We're up in the third. What is the pitting situation? Oops. Oh, I just wrecked Sterling again. There he goes. That's going to be a caution, isn't it? Yep. 
can I maybe choose some spots here? I can choose one. Nope. Well, at least my AI didn't completely freak out with me being on the apron. Yes, we're pitting. Um. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll do our usual, I guess. Alright, we're still in second. Some some other people are up here now, though. We did pit, right? Yes. Alright, so we have a buffer of some slow cars. We got Daly and Hovall. Or Hovell. That will hopefully hold up uh, Jeff Gordon and Ricky Rudd for a bit. Never mind, Jeff Gordon and Ricky Rudd just went straight through them. Okay. I don't think we'll be winning this race because we are not the fastest car here. And usually we need some luck in order to do well. So let's just try to have a decent finish. Not do anything stupid. Bobby Hamilton in fourth. That's unusual. Really probably shouldn't be locking these guys, but I'll give it a shot. Try to stay in the lead. We're really good getting into the corner. But we just don't have the speed down the straightaway here. I can't remember if there's an upgrade we were working towards or not. Well, obviously there is, but I just can't remember which one and if we were close or not. Because I remember we just got an upgrade. But I can't remember if we were close to another one with the money we had. So maybe we'll check that after this race. Probably should check that before this race. but Or watch the last episode to see if I said anything about it, but... You know me, not prepared as usual. We're maintaining. We're maintaining. Which is a surprise. How many laps do we have to go? Five to go. Okay, okay. That was not as good of a turn. Definitely not as good of a turn. I expect Ricky Rudd to be coming up on us very fast after that turn. Five laps to go. I wonder what happened to... um. Tony Stewart, he was up here, wasn't he? He was leading before the... Oh, uh, he was in third. He was the one I passed before uh, we hit the start-finish line. Mark Martin was leading, and he's back up to fourth, but I haven't seen Stewart. Alright. Can we possibly win this thing? It's not out of a question. We're going to have to block. Because I do think Ricky Rudd is faster than me. we got four laps to go. We're just going to have to block and try to run some perfect laps here. But I wouldn't be too upset with a second place finish either, to be fair. We're just trying to keep our points advantage as big as possible. Who was it second in points? Was it Sterling? <laughs> because if it was, man... <laughs> I'll probably be hearing some fans clamoring after me after that one. Wrecking him after qualifying and then wrecking him in the first couple laps. To be fair, I bumped him slightly and he just freaked out. So, I don't feel like that was all of my fault. I feel like that was more his fault than anything for overreacting to the end of it. But, okay, Ricky is here. We need to block. But let's not block and also spin him out, as can happen in this game. We also have Mark Martin, who is definitely the fastest car in the field. Finally got back up to third, so we'll have to deal with him, I'm sure. Alright, we are just blocking, blocking, blocking. Dang it, I went high just as he went low. Well, I can do this, though. Try to get a decent run off the corner. All right, let's block. It's so hard to have the mirror in the top right versus, like, right in the center like most games have it. Because I'm looking so far away from the track. But I guess that is pretty realistic to real life. Okay. If you pass me on the high side, good for you. I, I can deal with that. White flag was out. I probably should have been a little more aggressive with that now that I think about it. All right, we will... Try to get underneath here and clear. Nope, we're not going to clear. So we're going to rub him up a bit, slow him down. Got Mark Martin coming into Still the there. picture now. Okay. This is going to be a good finish right here. We're going to drive it in super deep. 
And now we're going to be in blocking mode here. Oh, I overdrove the corner. Mark's going to get it. No. Ricky, this is all your fault. Dang it. I knew that. I had a darn good feeling that was going to happen when I saw Mark was coming. But dang it. Oh, well. It's fine. Like I said, I'm, I can live with that. Mark was up there on the points, though, and I'm pretty sure Ricky Rudd wasn't. So that's the only reason I'm a little upset about that. So. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see, where did Sterling finish? He still finished 10th after all that. Um, if Mark is second in the points, we were able to maintain since we led the most laps. So, that is a good thing, I guess. Let's head back to the menu, and let's check on the upgrades before we go off to the next race. Alright, not a bad payday at all. Mark Martin emerged victorious, but Aaron Fitz was not far behind. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so Rusty Wallace is second in point, so we definitely extended our gap there. We have 129. 129 point advantage on Rusty right now. That's not a full race, but it's close. It's close. And Sterling's right there. Um... We have a decent lead on him as well. So, yeah. All right, I was just making sure I did my math right there because, yeah, math and math on camera is not a smart thing to do. All right, let's check that upgrade because we do have 604 grand here. So, um, let's just see if there are any upgrades to be had here. Engine upgrade, where are we at here? We need 900. Suspension, that's what we just did, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, but we, we said we really didn't want to go for anything except for that last one. Aero is what we just did, I'm pretty darn sure, yeah. And then exhaust, where are we at with exhaust? Alright, so I think the next upgrade will be the engine upgrade, which is 900,000-ish, so we're... We're still a little ways away from that, so glad we checked that, though. Uh, go back to the office here. I believe Talladega is next, and it's been a long time to set down a restrictor plate race in this series, so that'll be interesting, but let's head off to Talladega Super Speedway. All right, let's see where we're going to have to qualify here. Still going off pretty early. Uh, let's see, 52s I think we'll aim for. I seem to remember, I might be wrong by this, but I seem to remember that qualifying at restricted plate track was extremely easy, but I might be extremely wrong with that. But, um, our first lap has already started, so we only really get one lap, so we really got to wind it up here. But unfortunately, with the jerkiness of PS2 games, getting the her avoiding the herky-jerk is not going to help. Or not going to happen, excuse me. I can't talk. Um, but those of you who have watched me for extended periods of time know that I really do know how to talk. Um, okay, I'm going to try a slightly different method of turning here. It's a method I don't like using, and as demonstrated by my inability to turn, um, I still don't like using it. All right, let's just try to get as much speed as we can here on the straightaway here and just see what happens. I personally don't feel like I did a great job of getting up to speed. This is the one that counts. Well, let's see what happens here. We'll just herky-jerk our way through this first corner. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't done a restricted play race in this game in a long time. I haven't done really anything in this game in a long time, to be perfectly fair.
But let's see what we can do here. We're keeping it right around where we need to be with the speed, so we might be okay. We might be. Alright, let's see what we do here. Alright, let's see where we play. Alright, that's around what I was ho shooting for with a 52 all. Where is that going to put us? That's going to put us 6. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm not going to make any adjustments. Let's head off to the race. You already heard you once, Alan Bestwick, so sorry. He even introduced himself that time, but just not in the mood today. I'm just trying to get through as many of these races as I can in an episode without going too long. Okay, restart of a century there. Can I get clear of Mark? That would be great if I can. Yes, I can. Ward Burton started on pole, I think. That's unusual. But I guess if there was a track for him to do it at, it'd be Talladega. Oh, dang it, Mark. Oh, he's not going to save it either. Oh, he saved it. Okay, usually when they go into the death death shimmy, then it, they, there's no coming back from that. Elliot is running away right now. What the crap? Where is he getting the speed from? No, you don't, Robbie. Fine, I'll, I'll go with Ward. Robbie, he also saved it. I guess they're slightly more able to save it here in the in the restricted plate track with the death shimmy because as you guys saw with Sterling in the last race, death shimmies usually lead to death. Ah, uh, they're gone. They are gone. Alright, what pitch drives you gonna be? How many laps is this? Okay. We're going to pit this time, I think. Yeah, I'm pitting now. Why the frick not? Please don't speed. I sped. At least I'm pretty darn sure I sped. I haven't heard anything. Pretty sure I clearly sped there, but... See if they give me any penalty or not. Yeah. All right, we'll sit here for 14 seconds and throw away our points lead. Dang it. For some reason, I felt like this game had a little more of a, a sudden breaking. All right. That wasn't that bad of a penalty, I guess. But we're going to be in some trouble for sure. We are definitely going to be in some trouble. We need to get up to speed as fast as possible in order to salvage any hope of having a good finish. We just need to minimize the loss here. Minimize the loss. It looks like pretty much everybody's on pit road, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have seen somebody try to lap me at some point here, so. Pretty sure everybody's on pit road. So let's see if we can still survive, maybe get a halfway decent finish. We're not going to be getting a good finish anymore, but a halfway decent finish is all I can ask for. Alright, alright, we're moving up through the field. There's crack in the top 20. Alright, we're at 18th right now. I think we can still pass a few more people here. And I don't know if everybody's pitted either. Alright, we'll pass Mike Wallace. Get a run on Skinner and Aaron Hart Jr., who's surprisingly not doing too well. Is it just me or does he not do well in this game? It seems like he just doesn't do well in this game for some reason. The 
Okay, there is more pitting. Everybody's pitting again. They're doing it. They're doing the twice pitting thing again. Why? Why do you feel the necessity to do that? I'm in seventh. Gosh dang it, I don't deserve to be in seventh. Dang it, game. Are we good on fuel? Yes, we're good on fuel. Why are they pitting twice? I don't know. I'm seventh. I'm not going to question it. I don't deserve seventh, and I honestly am kind of mad that I'm getting seventh. But, whatever. Whatever. Unless if the front six decide to pit again, for some reason. I guess this is where I'm going to be. Jeff Gordon might catch me at some... They're pitting again. Why? Is this all of them? Everybody except for Ward Burton pitted. Is Ward going to be pitting here at some point? Who freaking knows? This is so stupid. Alright, guess we'll just try to get draft off of these lap cars. Just in case if Ward decides to pit, we can separate ourselves from... Nope, never mind. Everybody behind us pitted too. Ward is the only one who did not pit a second time. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I had a 15 second time penalty, but everybody decided to pit again. Is Ward pitting? I don't think Ward's pit. No. So Ward Burton's going to win this race, it looks like. So congratulations, Ward. There's a spin in turn two. That's probably where Ward is right now. Never mind. He seems perfectly fine. Yeah, nothing happened. So thank you, Spotter, for giving me either misinformation or over-exaggerating the severity of said incident here. Who is this for coming up on Pat? This is Jeff, isn't it? No, that's just a fantasy car. Never mind. Okay, there is an issue with somebody. Who is this? Not a clue. That might have been Sterling. The game's so low quality, I have not a clue who that was. Alright, Ward again did not pit. White Flag is out. Sponsored by RPG Design. After getting a pit road penalty. By 15 seconds. And the AI having the stupid strategy of pitting twice. Um, it looks like we're going to come home with a second place effort. Ward Burton is the only other person smart enough not to pit twice for some reason. Which is saying a lot about everybody else. No offense to Ward, but you guys know kind of the stereotype with Ward. So, that, that's saying something right there. That is saying something for sure. But, I mean, I'm not going to be mad. No, correction. I am going to be mad because this is this is a lot of bull crap, honestly. I should not be getting a second place finish right now. I should be getting, like, a 30th place finish. Alright, but second place it is. Where are our champions? Where's, Rust where's Rusty? Uh, Rusty's 17th. Okay. That was just stupid right there. That's all I can say about it was just stupid. Kevin Harvick and Sterling Marlin not finishing the race it looks like. That was ridiculous. That's all I can say about that. Oh man. But hey, good points day. Mark Mark was fourth, but he's fourth in points, I'm pretty sure. But we definitely gained on Rusty and Sterling, so that's good. Let's head back to the menu and see what we got going on next. Excellent payday. Burton drives to victory. Well. All right, we have a substantial lead now. We have 100 and 184 points. We have a full race lead now. The most you can get is 180. 
we have a 184. That is ridiculous. So unless if something really bad happens, which honestly something really bad should have just happened and did happen, but the game gave me a mulligan, I guess. We're almost uh, close to getting that engine upgrade. Alright, this might be a bit of a long episode, but I do want to get three races in, so let's head off to Lowe's. Alright, let's see where we need to qualify here. Looks like we're going out later. Let's say a 31. Somewhere in the 31. Just, the spread is just ridiculous, honestly. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no need to be so enthusiastic. Freaking coochie. Go, 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 go! Jeez. Calm down, man. Wow, this is Charlotte with backstretch. Backstretch stand. That is something I've never seen before, actually. This shows you how relatively inexperienced I am. With more early NASCAR games, but this is. This is a lot of freaking seats for Charlotte. But let's, let's see where we qualify. Or I guess, sorry, this is Lowe's Motor Speedway. I was around when it was Lowe's. Um, it didn't change until like 2007 or 2008. Um, and it was always so fitting because Jimmy Johnson used to be so dominant here. So it was always quite fitting that the Lowe's car would be so good at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Alright, let's see where we qualify here. 31. That's what I wanted, right? Pretty sure that's exactly where I wanted to be. Alright, in 8th place, I'll take it, considering I definitely probably could have done... Definitely probably, I'm contradicting myself already. I probably could have done a better lap. Ow. Hit my thumb. Alright, 8th place. Let's see what we can do with it here. Off to the race. Not, not now, Alan. Sorry, we're already running a bit long in this episode. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Carlo. Looks like Rusty's leading the race, so he's desperately All trying right. to get back into the championship fight here. And we did not get a good start at all. How long, how long ago did Charlotte take away those backstretch stamps? Not not like the ones halfway down the backstretch, but like those giant stadium stands that was coming off of turn two. How long ago did they take away those? Because I have never seen that before. Still there. Okay, guys, listen. I respect all of you greatly. Your brother okay. just dominated me in the last race. But I, I need I need you to get out of my way. Get out of my way. Stay low. Still there. Slow down. I'm not going on pit road. Why is it still telling me to go down pit road? Okay. Speaking of pit road, we still got a couple laps. Let's try to. Gosh, dang it! Get out of the way, Jeff. I blame you mainly because Elliot, he's, he is kind of trying to get out of the way while also simultaneously attempting to pass you. Okay, flip this. I'm going to get in between. I, I can't handle this anymore. I, I'm not going down pit road. Calm down. Okay, Elliot, give me room, please. Alright, Jeff, I'm going to give you a little warning shot here. That's your one warning. If you don't get out of the way... Uh, Elliot! Oh my god, this... I guess I'm not as fast as I thought I was. I sure am going into the corner, though, but coming off of the corner, I'm just not. But we'll be pitting next time by so I'd love to get another spot or two before then, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Let me try the outside here, see if that has any merit to it. Stay high. Still there. Nope. Alright, we're pitting this time. Let's try not to speed. Um, how many laps of fuel do I need? You're low on fuel. Stay 
Okay, that was not the smartest thing to do while I'm trying to get down pit road. Alright. That should be good. No tires, don't repair. And let's see what you can do here. I'm getting a little tired. Come on, come on. There we go, let's go. Alright, we do not want a caution to come out because I'm pretty sure we're a lap down. And if not, we will be shortly. Or not, because they're all pitting. No, oh, there they are. I see them. Not today, Rusty. You know I'm going to block the ever-living crap out of you, right? Especially since you're my points contending person. Are they all pitting here? No, they're not. Why aren't you guys pitting? Rusty? No. I don't care if I'm a, about to be a lapped car. You all need to stay out of my way. We're, and we're barely good on fuel, too, just to point that out. Oh, I washed up the track, but I think they're coming in. Yes, okay. Car low. Clear low. They went a lot farther than I did. That is interesting. Alright, these guys are off for position. They have not pitted yet, but they are for position. So let's just try to calmly and smoothly get past them without any incident. Looks like they're all probably coming down this time anyway. Alright, now we're going to get a sense of where we're going to shake out out of all this. Hopefully pretty well. The leaders are exiting pit road right now. We're already cracking the top ten, top five right there, and here are the four leaders. So let's see if we can get past them. Rusty lost a couple of spots there. It's Newman in the lead. We're going to pass him. How much of a gap can we get? Because I don't think we're fast enough to win this race on speed alone. So we kind of need to pull a gap if we can. Alright, we got a second. Over Newman. Newman and Stewart are not in the points position. It, they're not... Oh my god. I cannot talk today. They are not in points position to be contending with us. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Alright, we do have lap card, but Newman is flying. So... Unless if lap cars get in his way substantially, which they might, um, I am not winning this okay. race. All clear. Alright, okay, okay. This lapped car, I would love it if you didn't block me and block Newman instead. Good job, mate. Good job. Yeah, that was me. Well, it wasn't me. It was caused by me. Oh, my God. These stupid lapped cars. Sure blocked the leader, but not the second place guy. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I want this win. I'm getting a little aggressive here at the end of this series because I just want to win all the races. Okay, now I want you to turn left now. Never mind. Low on fuel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody's here. The top four are all here now. So if I... Rex Newman, then Rusty's there, and Tony's there. No, Rusty. No, Rusty. All right. All clear. Oh, God, we're splitting this lap car. This would be an epic finish right here if this was real life. No, Rusty. No, Rusty. No, Newman. Ah, oh, dang it. Who's going to win out of those two, though? Dang it. Newman, you let me down, man. Granted, 
was mostly my fault that they were there in the first place. But still. I'll take a third place effort. I mean, we might... We might lose a few points to Rusty there, but I'm not going to be too mad about that. We did lead some laps, though, so that's good. Alright, yeah, we're going to lose a couple points, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's head back to the menu and finish this episode off. Alright, decent payday all around. We're going to frick you, Rusty. Frick you, Rusty. Alright, so we did lose a few points there, but we still got a decent lead. I'm not going to do the math right now. Nothing with sponsors. Let's just see what we got going on next here. We do have enough for that upgrade, but we'll do that in the next episode. So we, how many races do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we'll have three more episodes. So we'll have one episode. So we'll have this episode on Tuesday, the next episode on Thursday, and then we'll have two next week. And assuming we win the championship, we'll be done. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. And click that little notification bell so you get notifications every single time I post a video. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.